we're going to explore the bubble sort algorithm. What the algorithm does is that it sorts an unordered list. So these items can either be ordered numerically or alphabetically. And what it does, it operates on pairs of adjacent numbers and it compares them and then decides to swap them if they're in the wrong order. So if you want an ascending list, if the left number is bigger than the right number, then the items are swapped, otherwise they're not swapped. And for a descending list, the opposite is the case. The algorithm repeatedly passes through the list until no more swaps are needed, and then at that point, it stops. After each pass, the largest number will be in the correct place at the end of the list. So this is what we mean by bubble. So the idea is that the large numbers will bubble to the top or to the end of the list in, in this context. We're going to look at bubble sort in operation by applying it to this sequence of numbers here. So the aim is to put this sequence in ascending order. In pass one, we need to compare the first two numbers there, that's the five and the three. And we'll notice that the five is bigger than the three and because we want this in ascending order, we need to swap those around. So we swap those two values around. So now we have, after the, the first comparison on pass one, we have now the three and the five which have been switched around. The next stage then is to compare the five and the four. And again, the five is bigger than the four, so we need to swap them again. And again, we're comparing the five now with the one. And again, they're in the wrong order, so we need to swap them. And finally, on this pass, we compare the two and the five. And again, we need to swap those around. Now, the five, the largest number now, is in the correct position after the first pass. Because the list is still unordered, we need to move on and do a second pass, or pass two. So we, again, we compare the three and the four. Well, they're in the correct order, so we don't need to do anything there, so we can just keep those as they are. Then we compare the four and the one, and those need swapping. And then we compare the four and the two, those need swapping too. And now the second largest number, the four, now is in the correct position after pass two. But again, we still don't have an ordered list, so we need to do a third pass. So we compare the three and the one at the start of that list, and we swap those around, so we now have one and three. We then compare the three and the two, and again, we need to swap those around. And you'll notice now that our list is sorted